whenever you guys are ready, can you explain what you built? Okay. We have built a FFT parsing system that will take noise that I play through this and turn it into a, a MIDI file. That's a binary representation of one. It can barely do this in real time, but because of the way that MIDI works, in order for us to be able to play it, we have to like collect all the information and then put it out. But we could stream MIDI events to some device if it was set up to receive that properly. But okay, for now, we don't really have anything that does that, so we just have normal MIDI files. And so you're gonna play a song, and it's gonna generate a MIDI file of that song. Yep. Is that what's about to happen? Exactly what's about to happen. This is for the fans. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so it streams it out okay. and like puts it into a file um, and then we can just upload it to like some like MIDI parser just so we can like show that like it okay. it's works. a MIDI file. It should be 120 like notes file. on our uh, thing there and this should up. Oh. Great, love that. <laughs> sometimes it, sometimes it gets confused. Okay. Yeah. I guess we can, re we can do a shorter rendition time. <laughs> Yeah, Cut this part out. <laughs> So as you were playing, it was listening to what you were playing through the microphone. Yeah. And doing a real-time FFT on that audio. Oh. We're having some uh, it's still technical difficulty. <laughs> Performance issues. Yeah. 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 It was like four samples too. Long. Great. All right. Cut this part out. <laughs> Do you need to run the thing? Yeah, so it, it, it correctly parses it, detects 32 notes. Okay. Um, there's some, there's some issues we have to work it, clearly, but... And I get plays the notes back to you. And I'll play it. Oh yeah, we can play it. Um, oh, do we have speakers? We could try to run. No, we do not, so we can't play it. <laughs> um, I want speakers? We can plug some speakers in. Do we have those speakers? Yeah. Oh, we have some here. Now we're chilling. Yeah. Cut this part out. So, um, listen to the microphone, does real-time FFT, yeah. and then it figures out which note you're playing by looking at which bin of the FFT has yeah, the most we, power in it? We measure the distance. Well, not the most power, because we, we want to be able to detect multiple notes that play at the same time. Okay. Right? Okay. Because that would be a chord. So what we do is we detect bins that pass our threshold. Okay. And then... Show me your just yeah, so we have the here. threshold here. So if the bin passes the threshold, which is which is the we yellow line, detect it, and then we measure the distance between that and the high, like because that corresponds to a real frequency, right? Right. So we can detect the distance between like that, like frequency that we detected, and our like frequencies that correspond to real notes. Then the shortest, the one that's closest, we categorize it as that note. Okay. And thus we can generate music. Okay. We do this for every single detected. Uh, passing threshold thing. If we detect enough of them, then we pass it. Okay. I don't know the speaker's plugged in. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I heard it, I think. Well, Turn it up all the way. We can't. No, the speaker is broken. There you go. Yeah, have long fingernails. I don't think it's all working.
we have some issues with tempo right now. <laughs> <laughs> but the note sequence is about right. Yeah. 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 Cool. So this parse is not exactly great. I don't think it's picking up our like time stuff correctly because we had we had a version of the timing that would have been more accurate, mm. which is uh, we were able to do SMPT timing, which is like you know like you know like the time movies would have like a time code. Sure. So we would we would have been able to key it like for one like note event per thirty like per frame with thirty frames per second, but. We weren't able to get that to really be parsed by like these MIDI sequencers because I think most MIDI sequencers like to have like the normal version of the timing, which is like the zero mode, which is the, how many t ticks per quarter note. But we don't really have a good way to do that because we're detecting in real time. So we want something that's more related to real time, but that's kind of related to like what the maker of the file wanted the timing to be, which we don't know. We don't know that because we're generating like real time information. So we just kind of have like this, it's kind of a problem, but I think like if we had it a, if we had developed a parser that could deal with the SMPT timing and treat it correctly, then we would be fine. They also wanted us to add like a time code or like a time signature and stuff like that. So like we had to basically like add a part of the thing that had a time signature and like a tempo and stuff like that. Okay. that we also don't really have any real way to specify a priori because again, we're doing real time detection. Sure. This, is, this is just the constraints of getting it to interact with like this sequencer. Cool. So so it's getting the note sequence correct and doesn't know tempo. Yeah. So you could you could go in there and adjust. Yeah, the you tempo. could go in and fix all that. Like gotcha. if I bump this up this tempo it's to like, like fifteen, right? Like fifteen, probably would be fine. So this this startup lag, I wanted to try and reduce it, but we don't. Yeah, that sounds better. Yeah, there's some like ghost notes in there too, because we're generating a really weird and kind of shitty uh, oh MIDI file, all things considered. But we did it. Cool. Yeah. It does work. Very, very nice. And we were trying to get like some like ML work in there so we can detect notes properly without detecting harmonics and yeah. maybe even detect what type of instrument's getting played, because then we can stream that to MIDI to tell it. Like here, we, we know we're playing a flute, so it the text these notes as flutes right but if we had an ml file we could hopefully detect multiple sort of auto populate the instrument yeah. Yeah. okay i see um, but i mean Chris yeah would talk ideally more the about model it, would also uh, account for harmonics more and depending on real-time constraints could also provide some timing information but uh, it was just too ambitious for the four weeks that we had sure um, is it instrument separation button solved I don't know about Saul, but do you, there is a lot of um, research on demixing that is pretty workable. It is, okay. Um, I mean, yeah. I think detecting like one instrument in isolation is probably not super hard, because like you can probably tell what the like the way from like a piano looks like here. Once you have a bunch of them playing. Yeah. The model that I was building also is uh, notable.